Now let's learn advanced flat picking solo break number one. And this is gonna be kind of in the style of Tony Rice. There's some awesome bluegrass flat picking licks in this solo break here. And I'm gonna play through it once so you can hear it and then we're gonna take a closer look with the tablature. Now let's break this solo down one little section at a time and we are going to look at measures one through five first, what you see on the screen. So let me play through it so you can hear it, get a feel for it, and then you can pause the video and work through it with that tablature. One, two, three, four, one. time. One, two, three, four, one. Pay attention to those down pick and the up pick triangles below the notes on the tablature. You don't have to go by those exactly, but those are the pig directions that I like to use throughout the solo break. So maybe that'll be helpful. And um, also one more thing I wanted to mention in measure two, that hammer on there, you know, right at the beginning, that one. When I do that hammer on, I like to bar with my left pointer finger across those two strings there, the first string, second string. So I'm barring that pointer as I'm doing that hammer. The reason I bar that pointer is because I'm getting myself ready for the third measure when I do a pull off, that quick pull off back to the pointer. So I like to do that type of stuff in these flat picking licks when I can. It makes the, uh, the solo sound a little bit smoother and it can be more efficient, get your speed up that way. So anyways, let me play through measures one through five one more time. It'll be a little bit slower and you can practice along with me if you want to right here. One, two, three, four, one. possibly want to work more on that, but let's move into the next measures. Uh, let's learn measures six, seven, and eight now. Sounds like this. Once more. It's a pretty cool little little section there. Um, I really like that slide at the end of measure six, sliding into measure seven. I think it sounds awesome. I slide with that left ring finger, and then I catch the next note with my pointer. And that next
next slide there, I use my ring also, right there. Ring finger, pointer, ring finger. That's one of those licks. You can steal that little lick and you can use that in a ton of different songs. You know, just add that to your bag of licks. I like that one a lot when I figured it out. So anyways, uh, measures six, seven, and eight. One more time. Now let's play through everything we've learned so far. Measures one all the way through eight. One, two, three, four, one. That's it. Sounds really cool. And as we move into the next measures here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lead us in by playing measure eight, this little G lick right here. Into the next measure. 